Hello guys, welcome back to the Kilohertz channel. Now today I'm going to show you how to access the engineering mode on the Command NTG 4.0 model. Now that was on the E class, the 212, and the CLS class, the 218 models. So to access this is extremely easy. On any screen whatsoever, simply hold down the red end call button, the number one button, as well as the hash button. So that's end call, number one, and hash buttons. If you hold all three down at the same time for around 10 seconds or so until the screen changes. So here you can see the engineering mode. There's two separate pages. First page is options one to seven, and then the second page is eight, nine, and 10, as well as the end option. Now, please note, compared to other versions of command, the only way you can back out of this screen, go back to the normal command, is by selecting the end button. So you just have to scroll all the way down, select that, and then you go back to normal. So the first menu is the basic display option. 1.1 uh, is the color bar, just to test all the colors on the screen. 1.2 is a hatchling, which just gives you the actual visible size, so you can check that you can see the whole screen. Then 1.3, grayscale. And then the, the last one, 1.5, is color screen, where it scrolls between white, black, red, green, and blue. Very simple. Next on the menu is the head unit diagnostic screen. I uh, won't pretend I know exactly what's going on here. A couple of checks you can do. Followed by the head unit information screen. There's three different pages here. Uh, loads of different options. Interestingly, you can find out the size of the, in the make of the hard drive which is installed. Followed by a load of other screens, I have no idea what they do, but they look very technical. Just be careful not to change any options and settings here, because you could in theory break your unit. This screen here might be a little bit useful. Uh, the Bluetooth device list will show you all the phones that have been paired with the command unit in its history. And now moving on to the second page of the main engineering mode, there's the number eight, the update option. Now don't go into this, don't try and update it unless you know the exact correct version you've got and you've got the disc handy. If you update it with a different version, you can potentially ruin your machine. So best just to avoid it completely. Then after that, you've got the system reset. And then number 10, press tour. This is quite interesting. When the car was brand new and it was at the um, press launch, this would have been activated via a disc or a USB stick to give the motoring journalists a set navigation tour that they wouldn't be able to deviate from and it showed them all twisty roads, high speed roads and you know everything to show off the car's ability. So if you ever watch any car reviews, uh, then the journalists normally are following some predetermined track or route, uh, which this option would have enabled. And that brings us to the end of this video. As always, proceed with caution with the various different options and menus. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, just don't mess around with it because you could, in theory, break your unit. And just before I go, I want to very quickly tell you about the Kilohertz Mercedes Instagram page. Now, I've got a huge archive of all old projects that I've worked on in the past. Uh, I'll update these daily onto this page, as well as any other neat car-related content that I hear about or see on my travels. So make sure you follow that and stay updated. As always, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, click on that subscribe button and bell icon so you get notified as soon as I upload new videos. Until next time, cheers.